Here's your field for race number three. Number one, Never Give, owned by Bill and Agnes Mow and Mount Sterling. Trained and driven by Nick Prather. Two is Vapor Time, over the Tanner Mare Farms Limited, the Felton, Delaware. Irv Miller trains. Matt Cox will drive. Number three is Sierra, Sierra Motel, owned by Benita Simmons of Springfield. Cheryl Clough of Carrollton. Tom Simmons trains and will drive. Four, Get a Real Job, owned by Jerry Robinson of Carrollton. Mike Brink trains and drives. Number five, T Thunder, owned by Dr. Stephen Rennard of Hamilton, Illinois. Alan Bowen trains and will drive. And number six, Short Straw, owned by Ron and D. Phillips of Petersburg. John Carver of Rock Island. Mike Rogers is the trainer, and Mike will drive tonight. Two year trotting Colts at the head of the stretch. Here they come. Get a real job. Trots out very quickly for Mike Brink to get the lead as we race into the first turn. This Colts never lost a race where he stayed flat in. Away second now is a Vapor Time and Matt Cox. Trotting third is Never Give and Nick Prather. Sierra Motel's off stride fourth and taken to the outside by Tom Simmons. Alan Bowen moves up uh, to take over fourth now with uh, T Thunder. Then we got short straws. We swing out of the turn and head up the back stretch. Get a real job. The two-year-old gelded son of the Valley Victory Stallion full-time job leads by two and a half lengths. First quarter was in 31 and four-fifths of a second. Vapor time sits right there second for Matt Cox. Locally owned Never Give is racing third. Short straw is a little closer fourth now, followed by T Thunder and Sierra Motel. Off the three-eighths, the two-year-old trotters trot towards the half-mile marker. And Jerry Robinson's get a real job. Continues to lead by two lengths. Vapor time is second. Never give us still third. Then we got short straw followed by T Thunder and Sierra Motel. Half is in 103 flat. Half and 103 flat for the two-year-old trotting Colts as they trot over to the 5 8 mile marker now. Still with the lead. It's get a real job into Mike Brink looking for his fifth win of the year. Trotting second on the inside is a vapor time. Never give is back there third. Short straws trotting fourth, and T Thunder is a little closer fifth. Track record here for two-year-old trotting Colts, 205 and three-fifths of a second. 205 and three for the trotting Colts. That's a possibility here with just under a quarter of a mile to go. The three quarters in 135 and four. So it's going to take a last quarter in uh, 29 and four to tie the track record. That's pretty good trotting, but not a po impossible on this very fast racetrack. It's get a real job on the inside. Up on the outside comes Never Give. He's a little closer. Vapor time needs trotting room on the inside. No place to go, but get a real job's not going to be caught, folks. Mike Brink, get a real job's going to win it by two and a half. Vapor time will be second. Never Give is third, followed by Short Straw. T Thunder and Sierra Motel. Great story behind this uh, two year old. Get a real job, bred by Carrollton's Jerry Robinson. Jerry's been in the standard bread business for many, many years. Trains at the Green County Fairgrounds over at Carrollton. He's been coming to the Brown County Fair since he was a very young man. He's not an old man now, but Jerry uh, bred this two year old son a full time job from a mare that he raced. Years ago, yield ahead, she raced the dam of this colt, raced right here at the Brown County Fair. And as I told you, his 19-year-old nephew, Benji, worked with this colt last fall and all through the winter, and then he was in a terrible car wreck about three months ago. And Benji lives to hear how this horse finished. I'm sure Jerry's been on the phone or will be here with in moments because Benji was in surgery all day today. And he lives to see this horse be an Illinois State Fair champion. And this horse is going to get a chance to do just that in about 10 days because he is for sure eligible to the $60,000 final at Springfield and the big final at the Illinois State Fair at the Coin and the Lincoln Land Trot in Chicago. Folks, let's give him a big hand. Mike Brink, who trains right here, used to train right here at the Brown County Fairgrounds with Jerry Robinson's good two-year-old get a real job. A new track record here for two-year-old trotters, Kurt. Get a word with uh, Mike Brink real quickly, Ed. Mike, you just told me something about this horse. What was uh, what was it you just said about this colt? He's a little ornery. <laughs> he kind of looked like it. Mike, one more question. They they always say horsemen do that. You need a good fast mile to tighten up for the state fair because the competition is so tough. Was this that kind of mile? Uh, yeah, that's what we intended to do when you come over here. Was tighten him up a little bit before next Friday. Looks like you did the job, Mike. Good luck to you and Jerry at the state fair. And folks, that elimination. 
is going to be a week from tomorrow. Post time, 12 noon. One week from tomorrow, post time, 12 noon. You can see that colt. He has to get through the $5,000 elimination to have a shot at the final. Ed, I've got to mention one more thing. Regarding the two-year-old trot, the Brown County Fair has a very special connection to the two-year-old trot championship at the Illinois State Fair. There is a legendary story, folks, on the fair circuit about a man who is now deceased, and some of you may have known him, a banker from Rushville named Les Redshaw. And Les Redshaw came here to the Brown County Fair back in 1964. And he came here because a man named Lawrence Bowman from Greenfield had the best two-year-old trotter in the state. And Les Redshaw wanted to win the state fair. He went to Mr. Bowman, and he asked Mr. Bowman, what would it take to buy your horse? And this was in 1964. And in the stable area, right here at the Brown County Fair that year, Mr. Bowman said it would take $25,000. Mr. Redshaw wrote the check. Now, if you go online to one of those websites where you can convert currency, a dollar amount from years ago, into what it would be today, that would be like today someone writing a check for $145,000. And that happened right here at the Brown County Fair. And Ed, I'll bet you, I'll bet you remember Joe Brooke, and he did go on to win the state fair with Les Redshaw on the race bike that same year. Ed? That's right, Kurt. And the next year, he came right here to the Brown County Fair as a three-year-old and broke our track record, trotted in 204 and 4. And that was a track record here for many, many years. And uh, Les Redshaw drove Joe Brooke as a three-year-old right here at the Brown County Fair after winning the Illinois Cold Stakes with him at two. Results of the third race now official. Number one, Never Give finished third. Number two, Vapor Time was second. Number three, Sierra Motel was sixth. Number four, Get a Real Job was the winner. Number five, T Thunder was fourth. And number six, Short Straw finished fifth. First quarter was in 31 and four-fifths of a second. The half was in 103. Three quarters was in 135 and four. The mile was in 205 and two-fifths. Race three checks down from the top. Three, two, six, one, four, five on the bottom. The mile was in 205 and two-fifths.